Ghost notes are uh, invisible to the naked eye, but we can feel their presence. <laughs> okay, that was like the most Halloween description I could come up with. The definition of a ghost note is that it's a musical note with a rhythmic value. But what we're talking about today is ghost notes. So we are actually playing keys, but we are playing them so lightly so that they are more of a percussive element than they are a melodic or harmonic element. So it doesn't matter so much what notes we play. Um, you know, we're not adding anything to the harmony. We're not adding anything to the melody. We're playing within the notes that we would play anyway. We're just adding little extra quick hits and the effect that it has it gives us this this impression of extra rhythm it gives us extra texture if you want to learn more about playing rhythmically on the piano with chords from a lead sheet you have to check out my course riffing pro it takes you from very beginner through to advanced and riffing what we're going to learn today is something you can add into any level of rhythm. So even if you're playing a very simple rhythm, you can add a ghost note. This is the chord that I would play normally. I've got a nice honky tonk old school Halloween-ish um, piano sound going on here. That's our chord. That's how we would normally play our chord. When we a ghost note would be like this. So chord rhythm two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that little light little bit on my thumb is adding extra texture to this chording rhythm. So I've got a normal chording rhythm on the beat, three, four, and then I've got my ghost note. Now that just adds, you can hear already, it's adding extra texture. Now the key characteristics of that is that it's light. It's lighter than the actual rhythm so that we can discern between is this important rhythm or is it not? It's not important rhythm. This is the rhythm. But our ghost notes just give us that little bit of extra texture. Sounds really cool. So how do we do it? It's got to be light. Normally, the easiest way to practice this is to use the thumb. So step number one of using ghost notes is to start by using the thumb. It's the easiest finger for us to add little rhythms to because it's more dexterous than the other fingers and it's generally more independent. So it's easier to add an extra thing in. What you can do is start by tapping it out, the rhythm on a surface or on your hand, but I recommend surface. Uh, it's going to be easier. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Then we're going one, ghost two, ghost three, ghost four. So you see, it's not very fast in terms of the gap between my ghost note and the chord. But we want to start it being very uh, slow and very simple. So we're going one yanda, two yanda, three yanda, four yanda. Once you get more advanced, you can start to practice. I'll do this on the keyboard again. One yanda, two yanda, three yanda, four yanda. Once you get more advanced, you can do even quicker ones, which means that the ghost note is coming even closer to the chord. One, two, three, four, one. You can also try doing it with your left hand. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Okay, so remembering that we're putting the accent on the rhythm. So you can hear the dynamic difference between the chord and that light ghost note. Okay, so that's where you're going to start playing ghost notes. And you can play this just comping with chords from a lead sheet. Um, or you can play it, if you want to, you can add it into your, uh, if you have a piece and you sort of want to elaborate on it, maybe the piece is a bit boring. Maybe you've learned the sheet music for an Adele song, for instance. 
if you want to soup it up a bit, if something's a bit simple, you want to soup it up a bit, add some ghost note. This is a All of Me by John Legend. So that's the rhythm. Let's add some ghost notes. You hear that ghost, that extra thumb note coming in, and it just gives it so much more. It gives it so much more vibe, texture, rhythm. It's a great little thing to just get going. Um, okay, so let's relate this to the Monster Mash since this is Halloween broadcast. <laughs> So it's a really pro thing to use, but you can apply it in a simple way to whatever you are practicing. So that's today's broadcast. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Have fun with the Monster Mash and have a good Halloween weekend. <laughs>